You say you don't want to be married and one day he has a wondering eye. Girl, they got a wondering eye the day after marriage, the day before marriage, all during the marriage. It's just either they act on it or they don't. <laughs> okay. You all have to realize that. So. If everybody has their own free will. Y'all keep forgetting that. Just because somebody says I do doesn't mean they won't. That's the reality check I think a lot of women need to realize. Ladies. The reality check is you can't stop people doing what they want to do. You just can't. You can't. The more you try, the more you expect, the worse you're going to feel. It's not your fault because literally they were going to do it no matter who they were married to. It's not you. It's them. And no matter what, you have the same opportunity. Y'all keep forgetting this, and I don't know why. You have the same exact opportunity. And if it ain't you, it will be the other chick that he married. If you, if let's say you got married and your husband cheats on you. It don't matter who he married. He was still going to cheat. So what's the difference? You can cheat too, man. And the whole, the funny thing about it is y'all are so scared to get into a marriage because you're only marrying for fidelity. That's your mistake. That's your biggest mistake. You're marrying for a man to stay faithful to you, which is the stupidest thing you can marry for. Because that's the one thing that people would not bet their lives on of all the vows, vows, of all the vows that you take. That's the one thing that people would never bet their lives on. And y'all are still in denial about it. I don't understand where this denial is coming from. If they do, they do. If they don't, they don't. Right. But I don't care. I'm not there for that. I'm there for being provided for. Do you understand? Y'all are living in the fairy tale instead of understanding reality. Now, you can live in a fairy tale if you understand reality that's the whole point if you don't understand reality how can you live in a fairy tale marry for the living not for fidelity because as soon as he mess up what are you going to do run run away leave go run to the next man's arms that are going to do the same thing to you what's the point just stay where the money is or go run to some more money I mean, if you're gonna, if you don't want to stay, then run to some bigger money. But always be running to the money and not the man. I'm gonna tell you why. Because the man ain't perfect, and the only reason you're running to the man is for him to treat you right and be loyal to you. You're running in the wrong direction. You need to be running to yourself. Because no person in this whole wide world, no person in this whole wide world, except for yourself is going to be as loyal or as honest with you. And if you expect a grown man that's going to have lots of options if he's successful, you said no, Diddy, <laughs> then that's your problem. You said you don't want an STD? Well, then don't sleep with him or make him strap up. What do you 